Today let's have a look at how to make bajra and oats dosas or pearl millet and oats pancakes. If you see quantity wise, all the quantities are about in equal quantity. Weight wise, this is maida or plain flour which is 50 grams, rava or semolina 50 grams, bajra or pearl millet 50 grams, oats 35 grams, rice flour 35 grams and about uh, some quantity of coriander. This is salt, this is turmeric or haldi and here we see onions, tomato and green chilies. This quantity is in a sufficient for about two people. Grind the onion, tomato and green chilies to a fine paste. This is the tomato, onion and green chilies paste. This is cooked bajra, cooked pearl millet, which I am going to grind it coarsely. Now we will mix all this together in a vessel. This is rava, semolina, this is plain flour, maida, rice flour, oats, chopped coriander, I have used sprouted bajra but you can use one which is not sprouted. I generally uh, sprout bajras and I keep it in the fridge. Uh, it lasts very nicely for about at least a week. Then I keep using it as and when I want it. So this is sprouted bajra but you can use it, uh, you can use one which is not sprouted but soaked and cooked. And this is the onion and tomato and green chilli paste. little bit of turmeric, haldi and salt to taste. Now we put water in this and soak it for 15 minutes. I have mixed all this together, all the ingredients together. I have soaked it in uh, water for 15 minutes and now I am going to prepare the pancakes. This is uh, a heavy bottomed pan Marathi we call it bidder. It's an alloy of 2-3 uh, metals. Uh, it needs to be prepared. So now I have oiled it first with a tissue paper. Otherwise the pancakes will stick to it. You can use a non-stick pancake or uh, this uh, non-stick pan also. Then you have, don't have to prepare all this. Making Before making the pancake I'll just oil it a bit again. Spread the flat batter. And oil the sides a little bit. See the dosa leaving the sides. Turn it. Because we have put semolina in this, it will, uh, the texture will be crispy. Put a little oil on the sides. And it's done. Flip it once more for some extra crispiness and it's done. You can serve it with some green chutney or sauce or you can have it just plain because we have put onion and uh, coriander in that. It tastes good just without anything. Thanks for watching.